I want to um, I want to welcome everybody here to the 29th annual Not, uh, National Arts Advocacy Day. 29 years of doing this kind of work, <laughs> and um, we are uh, we are over here this year on the Senate side. You know, pretty snazzy quarters here, um, a little cozy, uh, I think. So I I thank those of you who are standing for standing there. Um, but I'd like to start off by uh, thanking all of you advocates. Uh, for taking the time to uh, make your voice heard here in Washington, D.C. We have advocates from 44 states who are here with us, uh, represented this, uh, this year. Um, you know, some, some small delegations like Ohio. There you go. Any, is there anybody from Michigan this year? <laughs> New York. Oh, come on. That, that, that. Loud, loud and proud. Okay, New York. Um, Pennsylvania, okay, the great state of Texas, there you go, okay, ah, um, and now I, I'm not sure how big it is, but my delegation from Massachusetts, okay, <laughs> uh, I, I still vote there though, so um, I think uh, I, it's really great, and is, is San San Wang and the Bar Foundation people here? Um, San San and the Bar Foundation, one of the things I just want to say is that that foundation is one of the few in the country that's gotten involved with funding advocacy, with funding the kind of work that you do. So if people would give a shout out to her when they see her and ask her to encourage the other foundations across the country to help you with the work that you're doing, that would be great. And then of course, uh, Betty Plum from South Carolina, you all saw her last night, there she is. Great. So a special thanks to the state captains who are leading delegations today. Would, would you, well, this is going to be hard. Would you all please stand? You're already standing. Raise your hands, okay? The state delegation. And you're... I want to thank you for your hard work today and throughout the year to ensure that the members of Congress hear directly from arts advocates in their state. Arts Advocacy Day brings together a coalition of cultural, civic, and education organizations from across the country. And there are 89 national co-sponsors and 72 state and local grassroots partners who have joined together today in presenting a unified message here on Capitol Hill. And if any of our national partners are here, would you raise your hands? Okay, there's some great folks. <laughs> Surf, I see, and thank you. Um, this week, Several of our artist committee members uh, joined our advocacy efforts via Twitter and Facebook, and I asked them and anybody here to please continue to share your photos and videos with us using the hashtags uh, AAD2016 and ArtsVote. Um, this week is a very busy week on Capitol Hill, and today is a busy day, not just because it's Arts Advocacy Day. We just learned that the National Kidney Foundation the National Apartment Association, the Society General of Internal Medicine, and the Society for Adolescent Health and Medicine are also visiting the Hill with their constituents today. Okay, so wear those, um, those name tags, and also remember that uh, the arts are good for uh, neighborhoods, so we're helping those apartment people. The arts are good for health and healing, so we're helping those internal medicine people. And I believe that the, health, that the arts are good for kidneys, so... Um, <laughs> So be sure to keep everything held high, and uh, we're very proud here to be in the, uh, the Kennedy uh, caucus room here. Senator Kennedy um, and, and John Fitzgerald Kennedy were the great advocates for the arts that led to so many of the things that we're here celebrating today and fighting for today. Um, how many people here are, for, are here for the first time? Okay. Thank you for being here, and um, there are others who can help you. Are there any student advocates here from different universities? Oh, oh, there you go. Thank you. Okay, so with that, um, I welcome you.